So today we are going to learn is filter transformation. So in ETL testing, what is filter transformation is, guys, if you remember, I have taught you there is something called a source and there is something called a target, okay? Now from the data, data will be loaded from the source to the target using what? Using ETL logic, using ETL logic. Now this ETL logic will be written by whom? by ETL developer. This ETL logic will be written by whom guys? By the yes, ETL yes. developer. What as a tester we have to check? We have to check that the data loaded from where? From the source to the target is correct or not, okay? So guys, there are different kind of transformations. Yesterday we learned aggregate transformation. Today we are going to learn filter transformation. So what is filter transformation, guys, is, you know, the data are getting filtered and loaded into the target table. Suppose uh, the data is in the source table, the department number present in the source is 10, 20, 30, 30 and their details, okay? So suppose department number 10, 20, 30 related or uh, related to that employee number, employee name, job and all. And out of these department numbers, only this department is loaded in the target is department number 10. So now which two are not loaded into the target? 20 is not loaded and 30 is not loaded. Fine. Now we are going to do the testing between source and target using the, using what? Filter transformation. So now filter transformation has happened and only department 10 is loaded. Now we have to check the data between source and target. So that is what is today's topic. So guys, tell me if we use filter transformation, is it an active transformation or passive transformation? It is an active transformation. Why? Because in active transformation, the number of records gets what? Reduces. The number of records gets reduces. But if it is a passive transformation, number of records will not get affected. Do you remember that? Yes, sir. So in active transformation, the number of records gets affected and here the number of records will be reduced. This is an active transformation. We are going to learn filter transformation. So this is source, this is target. Now what happened guys? Data is getting loaded from the source to target. Now we have to validate the each and every data from the source to the target. To validate the data from the source to target, we have to write some of the queries. Okay, so let us just see. This is the source. This is source. And this is what, guys? This is the target. Fine, now what happened? This is your target. So now we have to validate data, okay? This is source table, this is target table. So who is not having recording access? Oh, Shreya has joined, finally Shreya has joined. Oh uh, yeah, so guys, this is the thing. This is filter transformation from the source, the data is going into the target. And the filter condition is what guys? Only department 10 will be loaded. What is the filter condition guys? Only department 10. Department 10 will be loaded. So we are going to validate. So first validation is what guys? We'll validate the count. First validation is what? Count validation. Oh. Can you just tell me what will be the query in the source side? Select, select. select start, select count of. Select count, count of what? Count of uh, department number. Hmm? Select count of, suppose I write a primary key column employee number or some column which will which we, which is not having duplicate value. Select count of employee number or a star, anything I can take. So, so, so I am taking employee number, select count of employee number. From which table? Source yes. table. Where what? Department number equals to 10. Are you able to understand guys why I have written department number equals to 10? Because from the source, only department 10 has been loaded into the target. So I have to use a filter condition word where department number equals to 10. 
So what will be the count in the source site guide? Can you just tell me? Three. 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 Okay. And what will be the query in the target site? Can you just tell me the query in the target site? Select count of uh, EMP number or department number. Select count, count of, of what? EMP number. EMP number from, from target. target where department number equal to 10. No, no. Yeah. Only select employee number from target. Count of employee number from target. target. Right. Because your target table does not need any filter condition. Here only department 10 is loaded or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what will be the output here? Three. 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 Are you able to understand, guys? As I have already told, this is source. This is target. Department 10, 20, 30. Now the filter condition. What is the filter condition? Only department 10 will be loaded. So what will be the query in the target side? Select count of employee number from the target. Okay. And in the source side, it will be what? Select count of employee number from source where department number goes to 10. Employee number column I have taken because employee number is always unique. Yes or no? Guys, employee number is always unique or not? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So this is the count validation. The next validation is going to be what, guys? Can you just tell me? Data validation. Data validation. So how we will do the data validation using what? Minus query. Can you just tell me how to use the minus query? Can you just tell me? The source query minus target query. Yeah, that is what I want the query. Okay. Select count of EMP number. No, 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 no. Think, think, think. Oh, sorry, that's count, right? Okay. Uh, uh, I have to count, I have to check each and every data. This data, this data, this data, this data, this data, this data. Are you to understand? Yes. yes. So what I have to select the all the columns. Suppose I have to select what is the column in the source side. It is employee number. Then it is which is the query column. Then it is employee name. Employee name, job. job. Employee name, then job, then. Manage, MGR. MGR, then. Salary. Okay. Salary. Then? Department number. Commission. Department Commission. number. Department number. Commission. Department number. Department number. From where? From source table. From source. Then what is the next query? Minus. Minus. You have to write minus. Then what minus. is the minus you are doing? Select. Select a star from. Uh... No, no, no. You take column wise. You take column wise. What are the column? Star also you can take, but I want what column by this column will be minus to this, this 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 will be minus to this from which table? Target. Target. And what should be output, guys? No records found. No records found. Okay. Output should be what? No records found. And if records are coming, guys, then what will happen? That will be a bug. Are you to understand? That means the logic is not implemented properly. Are you able to understand? If there is any record A minus B, that means what? This minus this. Now this minus this one I am doing. Now guys, here there will be one change. What is the change? This, this will give a wrong, wrong answer. This query is not correct. Can you tell me why? Guys, this query will give what? Department 20 also, 30 also. I right, right. Will, compare uh, with what? Compare right, with what? Target. So what I have to write? 10, 10. 10. Are you able to understand? Now if you will minus A minus B, now I have to check the data from the A is loaded into the target table B with the proper logic. Now the output should be what? No records found. Did you understood this thing? Guys, see. The, see in this table, okay? Now this is suppose your source table. Now this is your target table. If I have to compare this source and target, what is the way guys? Tell me. See, this is suppose, suppose our table is there. EMP one, yeah. I don't. <clears throat> suppose I create a table. Do you remember the CTAS query? Yes. So now this is a source table. Suppose select a star from EMP. This is source table. 
this is a target table now i have to check the data between both of them what i have to write select so start from emp minus what guys select start from emp1 select start from emp1 so what will happen guys what no rows found should come each and every data is matching now now but our case what is happening is only department 10 is in the target so in the source what i have to write where department number equals to 10 did you understood this much minus select all these columns from the target did you understood this query guys minus query data uh, yeah. this is the actually actually the data validation did you understood this data validation tell me yes no yeah. yes now i have to validate the unique columns so that the employee number is unique or not so how can i validate that the employee number is unique or not can you just tell me unique query select distinct of uh, emp no, no 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 select yesterday okay. also i told you unique query okay. select employee number from mm. so count of employee number from which table from the target okay. table then group by employee number having count of what divya do you remember you asked this question so having yes. count of employee number greater than what one. one and output should be what no records do you remember this yes or no i yes. told you that after data matching we will validate the duplicates are not there in the primary key employee number is a primary key so that's what is the duplicate uh, validation okay next validation is that we have to validate a negative scenario we have to validate a negative scenario negative scenario what we have to validate guys <clears throat> next is what we will validate the uh, negative scenario what is a negative scenario we will check that any uh, department number apart from department number 10 is loaded so what will be the query for that select start from target where department number not equals to what 10 are you able to understand this query output should be what that output should be what no records found okay. yes or no because in the target what happened guys only department 10 is loaded apart from that any other column is not loaded so what happened guys we are only checking what that department 10 is there or not so first we always have to validate the count how to validate the count see in the target just we will write select count of employee number from the target but in the source but in the source we have to modify as per the business logic now what is the business logic guys business logic tells out of this department 10 20 30 only department 10 is loaded so i have written here set a count of employee number from source where department number equals to 10 this is the source query now output of this source is 3 and the output of this target count is 3 Three and three is matching. That means number of records loaded from source to target is matching. Now this is one part of the validation over. Fine. Now come to the next part of the validation. That is nothing but your data validation. Now data validation will use the minus query. What we will do is we'll take all the columns from the source table. Then what is the filter condition here? Where department number equals to ten. then what i have to write minus then what i have to write select all this column from the target and after using all those things guys what will happen what should be the output no records no record found. then i have to check the duplicate values in this employee number column so how to check the duplicate values in this employee number column select employee number comma count of employee number from the target table group by what employee number having count of employee number greater than 1 yeah. this is called the duplicate query to validate any column now i want to validate what 
employee number column. If I wanted to check duplicate in department number column, I would have just written here what department number, department and number. here also department number, and here also department number, and group by what department. Now, guys, now last thing I wanted to check is what I wanted to check in the target table. Apart from department number ten, there is no other column which is loaded. So what I have written is I have written a negative scenario. What I have written is select start from target where department number not equals to ten. That means. If there is any other department loaded apart from department number ten, that particular thing we can come to know using this fourth query. This completes your filter transformation, guys. And 